Tormentic here, and today I wanted to try something a little different. I've been making these videos now for probably about maybe a month and a half, but I never actually told you guys anything about myself. Well, my real name is Rob Jenkins. I'm currently 34 years old. I'm married and I have two children. And I have to tell you, I've had a blast these past two months, roughly, making these videos, sharing the tips that I've actually found with you all, and giving you little tricks and things like that in order to actually help stuff revealing the breaking news that actually happens and i just wanted to take a moment and actually tell you a little bit about what i want to do with this channel where i want it to go and exactly what my goal is i guess a little bit of backstory about me um i come from a theater and film background uh, I went to school for a little bit, got really sick and left, and I never actually went back because I started pretty much working from that point forward. Um, I want to say it's it's hard when people ask me what I do specifically because I, I do a lot of freelance work. Um, currently, right now, I help put up weddings and do fl florals for weddings, lights for weddings. Um, I do a lot of big industrial Christmas installations. Funny that the Simon Centers are sponsored places for Wizards Unite because that's one of the things that I do is I do a lot of the Christmas decorations for Simon Shopping Centers all across the country. Um, I've also worked on a, a couple films, uh, a couple TV shows, um, things like that. Uh, my favorite one probably would be a, uh, a Bollywood film called Visual Paw Room. And uh, I, I got to work on that for about two months or so. I had a ton of fun, learned a bunch of different Indian words, um, specifically Tamilic and Hindi. It was great. There's a, tons of, I, I fell in love with India because of working on that film. Um, but right now I also work in the radio station. Uh, I work on a, a radio station. It's called Classic Rock 92.3. And uh, I work on the weekends, just doing voice tracking for them and things like that. But like I said, it's, it's kind of hard to quantify exactly what my job is because I do so much random stuff. Um, I always tell people if I had a superpower, it would be the ability to find work because I'm always doing different things back and forth all over the place. My channel is somewhere where you can come and get tips, tricks, and breaking news, specifically right now for Wizards Unite and Pokemon Go. And... The whole reason I actually started doing it was because I wanted to help other people. That's my main goal, is to help other people enjoy this game as much as I'm enjoying it. And I gotta say, for Wizards Unite, the whole concept of Fortress Battles is what sold me on this game. Because it isn't just go in there and fight things, or go in there and counter stuff. You actually have to put some thought into it. You have to have other people with you. You have to be able to brew the potions, to use the potions for those higher level challenges. And you, you really have to think. Like, you can't just, like I said, go in there and do it. And I, I want to say Fortresses is what really sold me on Wizards Unite. This has been something that I've wanted to do since Pokemon Go came out. But for some reason, I never figured out how. I always thought you had to have some sort of big computer with awesome editing software and other things like that. And then just randomly one day, I decided, you know what? I'm going to see if I can actually just do a video and I did, and it was okay, it worked. But then I started going in and started looking up more, figuring out different tips, different tricks, things like that, in order to make the videos more successful, more professional, if you will. I make all of my videos off of my phone. Um, I did have an iPhone 7, I just recently upgraded to an iPhone 10. I use Movie Maker to edit everything, and then I just do voice records over. That's probably one of the reasons why I haven't done a video like this, is because this right here is a little bit harder to actually overlay images and things like that unless you have a computer. So eventually, I'm going to start using a computer in order to make the videos better, more in interactive, things like that. But for right now, until I can actually get a bigger subscriber base, I'm probably just going to keep doing it on the phone. I'm super impressed with what I've been able to do just using my phone. Um, but as the channel gets bigger, as I get more subscribers, things like that, I definitely am going to invest in more uh, equipment in order to actually, like I said, make the experience better for you, the viewer. I was an avid Harry Potter fan since the beginning. Um, I actually remember I was in middle school when the first book came out, and my librarian gave me a copy of the Philosopher's Stone. Now, most uh, Americans are used to it being called the Sorcerer's Stone. When it was first released in um, England, it was called the Philosopher's Stone. Most of the world, actually, I believe, it was called the Philosopher's Stone. And I just ate it up. 
and it was it was it was just it was it was crazy it was it was amazing it was just so so unique when it first came out and so i had read every single one of those books as they were actually released i fell in love with some of the movies there are some differences between the movies and the books but i'm not really going to go into that and to give you an example of of how much those books affected me when i was actually reading the part where Sirius dies, I picked up the book, threw it across the room into a corner, and I did not pick it up for a week. Sirius was my favorite character in that series. And when Rowling killed him, like I said, I picked up the book and threw it. And I've never done that before. I love books. I'm the type of guy that goes to a thrift store and I'll spend like 30 bucks on books that I'll probably never even read. But that moment was just it was so powerful for me. And I'm, I'm honest when I tell you, I did not pick the book up for a week. I, I just, I couldn't because I was so mad that he died and it wasn't even anything It like I, it, no other book or no, no other part in that series ever gave me that type of reaction, whether it was uh, Voldemort's death or it was Dumbledore's death or anything, nothing, nothing except for Sirius's death. And I got to tell you, it's, so it's a little heartbreaking every time you see him and he shows up and and you're like oh that's serious but for real i love the series i love the books i love the movies and this game i am having a ton of fun playing so i want to say the main goal of this channel is to try to help share information i love teaching people i love helping people and wizards unite is one of those games where i feel like it's not a one person thing you need a group a collective if you will of people sharing ideas and experiences in order to understand exactly how the game is effectively supposed to be played so my main goal with the the group is like i said to help people it's to give them either tricks or tips in order to make the gaming experience better because you always know that when you get stuck in a particular area or in a particular thing and it, it's very frustrating sometimes you just like forget it i don't even want anything to do with that but here i'm here trying to help people so they don't get to that point there are plenty of awesome other resources out there for people to use as well so i don't want people just to use my own channel there's tons of different channels in order to get wizards unite news specifically but also for pokemon go and other things like that it's funny because originally the channel had nothing to do with wizards unite or pokemon go you know how you're playing a game and randomly you'll be like 25 gems you just have to watch this 30 second ad and you watch a 30 second ad and you get the 25 gems or whatever it is the currency for the game well normally during those 30 seconds it's an ad for another game and i gotta admit i download a lot of those just because some of them look fun i want to try them out so i originally created the channel because i was going to actually just do like a short review of those games and it's funny and almost a destiny, if you will, because the day that I actually decided to make the channel, Wizards Unite came out and I played it for about, God, two or three hours, immediately fell in love with it and then just wanted to start explaining the game to people, wanted to try to help people do as much as they can with the game. And so the channel kind of morphed from what I originally had thought I was going to do to covering pretty much Wizards Unite and Pokemon Go. Now, I do want to get back to the roots of my original idea, and I do want to eventually start covering other games, um, especially like Minecraft Earth when that comes out this fall. Like, that sounds like an awesome... And I'm not a Minecraft player. I don't really like Minecraft that much. I played um, the Pokemon version of Minecraft for a little bit, and I had a little bit of fun, but still kind of lost interest. But Minecraft Earth itself just looks amazing, the, the entire concept of it. I'm kind of upset that I don't live in a big city to where I can't be part of the beta but I am gonna start trying to do little videos of smaller games like I said I call them ad games uh, so you can get an idea of well is this one worth it is that one worth it should I play this one is this one fun I have a lot of fun playing idle games so a lot of them might be idle games uh, there's some tower defense games that I actually play as well so stick around and you'll definitely get 
different games. Talking about the ad games, once I actually start covering some of those games, if it gets enough feedback to where people actually are interested in the game or they want to see more content from it, I might do a couple videos on one, but most of them will probably just be standalone videos by themselves, basically giving you a basics of what the game is, how you play it, and what the objectives actually are in it. And my review of whether I think it's actually worth your time or not, because there's a lot of games out there that are just, no, don't want to touch them, don't want to go anywhere near them. But there are also like, a lot of good gems that are hidden that people haven't really seen yet in the app store. So that's really my main goal with ad games, is being able to show you new content, new games that you might not ever have actually seen before in the app store. I'm really excited for WooFest in Indianapolis coming up uh, just because dragons, like, oh my god, dragons. Dragons are going to be epic. And it was one of those things where I've never really gotten a chance to go to any of the Niantic big group meetups, like Poke Pokemon Go Fest or anything like that. And so when it came available to be able to buy a ticket, I was like, you know what? If I'm going to take this serious and I'm really going to actually try to be a YouTube creator, I need to go. And so I talked to my wife, she was okay with it, completely supportive of all of this. And I lined up babysitters for the two kids that I have and everything like that. And I'm gonna go, I'm super excited to meet some of you. I'm super excited to actually meet some of the fellow WooTubers. WooFest I think is actually gonna be a huge success. Cause if you remember from the previous years when the Pokemon Go Fest first started, especially the first one in Chicago, it was a mess. I mean, there were disconnections, all sorts of different things. So I think Niantic has actually learned from their experiences. So I'm really, really, really excited for this one. The biggest thing that I'm actually excited for, besides the dragons, is probably going to be the real-life threat clock. I cannot wait to get footage of that. I think it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited to actually meet some of the other WooTubers out there. Um, some, uh, I've gotten really, really good advice from some of them. They've helped me out. And even though I don't have a bigger channel like some of them, they've still taken the time, like I said, to give me some advice. And that's what I've really realized about the YouTube community is that, yes, there can always be some bad actors, but the majority of people that are YouTube creators are really supportive of other creators. It isn't just about, I'm competing against you, so I want the subscribers, not you. They recommend their subscribers to actually go and try to find other people. And I do, I, I wanna do the same thing. Like, don't just listen to me. Make sure you go and subscribe to a couple other different WooTubers for Wizards Unite. There's a lot of really good Pokemon YouTubers out there that have a lot of really good information. So you definitely want to go around and subscribe to a bunch of different people because different perspectives is honestly how you learn. So like I said, I'm going to be at WooFest. Um, I'm in the process of trying to get a Tormentic Tips t-shirt made, so I'll be able to have that. I will have my hat, though. I found this beautiful hat at Walmart. It was only $3. Get out. $3 for this hat. But the first person to actually find and recognize me, I am going to give a pop to. And it isn't a super expensive pop, but it is one that has been in my collection for a little while. It is a cool little Harry Potter pop. He actually has his broomstick. I don't know if you can see that in there, but he actually has his broomstick and a golden snitch. So this is the pop that I'm going to be giving away to whoever finds me first. Like I said, it's not a super expensive pop, but it is one of the first ones that I actually got in my collection. So I hope you enjoy it. Like I said, all you got to do is just find me. First person that finds me gets the pop. I'll have it in my book bag. Now, I know it might be kind of difficult that I'm a new channel and I just, I'm covering two different big games, Pokemon Go and Wizards Unite, but I really love Pokemon Go. I've played it since the day it came out and I, I just, I really want to help create content. I know there's a lot of good YouTubers out there that actually make Pokemon Go videos and I know that I'm not going to be the first choice that most people have, but if I can actually just get a couple subscribers, or if I can get a couple likes, or even if my videos just help one person, it was worth it to me, honestly. Um, I make a lot of the Pokemon Go videos for my local group that I have down here, um, Pokemon Go BX, but a lot of them is, like I said, just because if I help one person, then the video was worth it. I mean, it doesn't cost me anything to make these videos or anything like that either. So right now my production cost is pretty low. So why not? Why not do it? Why not cover them? As the channel grows bigger, I might try to reach out to a couple friends that I have to help me make videos. But for right now, they're all me, all on my phone. And I, I got to, like I said, I love Pokemon. Like I've loved it since I was a kid. I actually, so I want to tell you a little 
funny thing. Um, if, if you've seen the movie, What Dreams May Come. Well, I've always told people that if the movie was true and that's how heaven worked or whatnot, my, my mind would be a Pokemon Go journey. You would go up there and see an oil painting of me capturing a Charmander. Honest to God, I kid you not, that is, that is what my ideal heaven would be, would be a Pokemon journey. But uh, the game itself, I've met a lot of really good people here locally where I'm from. Um, like I said, we have a really good group. I've made friends with people that I probably never would have met if it wouldn't have been for Pokemon Go. So that might be another reason why I make those videos is just because it has become such a big part of, of my life, if you will. But lastly, I want to thank each and every one of you. Without your support, without the comments, the likes, the shares, uh, not even just on the YouTube channel, but actually over on the Facebook and everything like that, I wouldn't be making these videos. Like, you have no idea how much it means to me, even if it's one person or it's 50 people commenting, liking, or anything on a, on, on a video. I honestly, for some reason, before I started doing this, never really thought that people would be receptive to to what I had to say, if you will. Um, and it's just, it, it, it means a lot, the, the support that I've gotten, especially from other WooTubers, admins on Facebook pages, things like that. I've had uh, admins from Facebook pages reach out to me personally and, and ask questions or ask if I was going to be places or do things. Like I had a couple ask, are you gonna be at WooFest? Um, I had one actually who told me that if I couldn't get a ticket originally for WooFest, he was gonna try to find a way to get me one. And it's the little things like that that really, really, really mean a lot to me. Because, again, it goes back to what I was saying about the YouTube's community being supportive. There are, like I said, there always will be bad actors in any situation that you're in. But the majority of everyone I've met on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, have been super helpful, super nice. And I cannot thank each and every one of you enough. Because, again, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing without your help. So I hope this has been helpful to uh, get to know me a little bit better. Because like I said, I didn't realize I've been doing these videos now for about two months, but never actually formally introduced who I was, told you a little bit about me, told you about pretty much my life. Um, if you have any questions or anything, definitely leave them in the comment section. You can always follow me on Twitter, also at Termentic. Um, it's where I post a lot of news when I can't make a video, but also you can always ask me questions on that as well. And uh, like always, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.